Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. And Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is July the 29th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of 2 Peter and chapter 1. Peter begins in verse 8 by saying, For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, what things is he talking about? Well, we see the answer to this in verses 5, 6, and 7. He says, diligence, virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience, godliness, brotherly kindness, and charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they're growing in you, they're flourishing in you, then you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the experiential practice of what you know to be true from the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. But then in verse 9, he says, He that lacks these things is blind and cannot see afar off. Well, when he says see afar off, he's talking about the promise that is to come. For if you look at chapter 3 and verse 13, it says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And so basically what Peter's saying is these people who aren't growing and flourishing in the teachings of the Lord Jesus have forgotten about the promise. The promise no longer motivates them. It no longer encourages them to live a godly, disciplined lifestyle. And because of that, they are blind. And even more importantly, they've forgotten that they were purified from their old sins. So this isn't talking about an unbeliever necessarily in the fact of someone who's never met the Lord Jesus, but this is talking about someone who has had their sins forgiven. And then look at what he says in verse 10. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Well, according to what everybody tells us, I thought it was already sure. But he says, make your calling, make your election sure. For if you do these things, you will never fall. You will never stumble. And notice that condition, if you do these things. What things? The teachings of the Lord Jesus. And you're not just satisfied with intellectually knowing them, but you are practicing them. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll obey my commandments. And so he says, if you do these things, you will never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So if you never fall, you have entrance into the kingdom. If you fall, you don't have entrance into the kingdom. This is yet another passage that absolutely annihilates the teachings of once saved, always saved. But that's not necessarily the focus this morning. The focus is we should ask ourselves, are we abounding in the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ? Or are we barren and unfruitful? For if we are unfruitful, as verse 9 says, we are blind. And we cannot see what Jesus has promised. We cannot see the kingdom. We cannot see eternal life. We are so wrapped up in this life that we are blind to what lies beyond. But if we keep the promise right in front of us at all times, it will be very difficult for us to slip and fall. And so what Peter is saying here is, look, don't get sidetracked. Don't get short-sighted. Work hard to keep your attention upon the things of God. This is how you grow in the spirit. This is how you become a soldier of the Lord Jesus Christ. And how do we do this? With a couple of very simple disciplines. We read his word and we practice what it says. Because everything we need to be busy about is in the word of God. 
whether it's serving others, whether it's praying, whether it's studying his word, everything that we need to be doing is in the word of God. And so friends, I encourage you again, if you're not reading your Bible, begin. Start small. Keep it enjoyable, but do it every single day, friends. And then when it convicts you, when it moves you to repentance, when it reminds you of truth that you have been avoiding, hear its call and obey. And by doing so, you will ensure yourself an entrance into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be all the glory and praise, friends. Now, as he wills, and until tomorrow, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.